Kerala is the state with the highest literacy rate in India. More than 250,000 students pass higher secondary every year. Technical education attracts a huge percentage of these students and at the moment there are around 50,000 engineering seats in Kerala. In the past, students used to go to other states for engineering education, but now the situation has changed. There are enough engineering seats in the state itself. However, there is a contradiction. The quality of engineering education has declined. Around 70% of students fail in attaining their degrees on the first try and most of those that manage to pass are not employable. Apart from this, students in Kerala are also finding that the service sector is more attractive from an employment point of view. Engineering seems to be losing its sheen among the students. A college in Chengnu is striving to find a solution for this. They believe that engineering is the lifeblood of a nation. They are doing everything to instill this belief in young minds. The faculty of Providence College of Engineering discussed many ways to give students a new perspective about engineering and to make them realize that engineering is really a prestigious profession. Eventually, the idea of Project 2K16 was born. Project 2K16 was a three days science and technology exhibition. It took off on 19th January with a colorful inauguration by Chengnu MLA Sri P. C. Vishnunath. The district collector Sri N. Patmakumar and other dignitaries were also present. Protok is a brainchild of the college director Dr. K. G. Balakrishnan and faithfully executed by his team. Well, you see, uh, last few years we were not getting high ranked students towards engineering education. So why this is happening? Because there was no awareness among the crowd that the engineering is one of the good profession that can be carried out. So in order to do that, mm -hmm. we thought we must uh, make an awareness program here. Okay. And the best thing I thought of was an exhibition of technical items here, the college. Okay. So we planned with uh, almost everyone, you know, last with, uh, like ISRO, mm -hmm. like KCB, uh, BSNL uh -huh. and all those people who are technically advanced along with two major institutions of um, I mean uh, industrial products here uh -huh. because Alind and uh, Traco Cables these are the two industries around this area which produce uh, real good industrial things okay. so this also we thought we should bring into the highlight so we invited them they also readily accepted along with you know you have uh, some other companies like BSNL has joined us, like um, the Nest group of companies, they also joined. Then CDAC is a government institution who is uh, the best in the, in the state for uh, computer programming and all that. Okay. So they also joined us. Okay. So it was uh, with their help, we thought we should bring it a good project like this. So this is what actually prompted me. And to attract more talented to students towards engineering education. This is what. In this area, you know, especially in Changanur area, um, people look for medicine first. If they don't get it, then they will look for nursing as their next option. Yeah, right. Or maybe um, they will turn towards commerce side. But then the last choice was engineering. But I want at least they should choose the first as their as engineering career. Because that is a national building career out of all these, others are all service sectors. Right. Whereas engineering is the national building. You know, unless we build our nation, there is no scope for it. So that is the main idea behind holding this. True to his words, about 4,000 students and 50 organizations participated in this event. From 19th to 21st of January, Providence College became the center of attraction for high schools and polytechnic institutions in the nearby towns and districts.
the faculty and students work for three months to make this a reality and a grand success. So, uh, why enter education? Um, it's always been our vision that education empowers people. Education opens people's eyes to yeah, yeah. the possibilities right. of what they could be and what the world could be like. And um, we've always felt that in this part of Kerala, there hasn't been any um, really high-end uh, technical institutions that mm -hmm. are churning out the engineers of tomorrow, not the engineers of today. Okay. Um, that was one of the reasons why we decided to venture into engineering as our first foray in education. Uh, there are many engineering colleges. Uh, how do you want to be different, in fact? We want to be different because by making sure that from day one, yeah. um, students are instilled with the idea of innovation. Okay. That they are uh, always encouraged to ask questions, okay. to question the status quo, okay. to understand what they're learning and not just cram. Yeah. and to walk away from here with the spirit of uh, research, innovation, uh, looking at the world differently, okay. uh, with different outlooks. That's the way, that's what we want. We don't want run-of-the-mill engineers. We want um, the engineers of tomorrow sure. who are thinking beyond what is possible today okay. and looking at what can we do tomorrow. Okay. And also nation builders, people who want to give back to the community. And that's really important to us. Protec was able to bring many leading organizations and companies together. Organizations like Indian Space Research Organization, AgroBaza, Forest Department, Archaeology Department Aeromodels BSNL Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force SEDAC Madhra Bhumi Traco Cable CDNS Island, Kerala State Electricity Board, India Post. I think today is the second day of the technical exhibition, right? Yes, yes. So, how do you feel now? It's been a wonderful experience uh, because <coughs> from yesterday uh, we have got around 2,000 students um, visit our campus <coughs> and they have come from various schools nearby and they have uh, visited our stalls, ISRO stalls and CDAC and KSCB and KSRDC. And uh, these students were so happy, they were so grateful <coughs> that they got an opportunity to visit and see so many technological developments and okay. products. And on top of that, they were able to see some of the <coughs> uh, developments in the robotic area, the uh, drones okay. flying around and even a rocket launch okay yeah, yeah. so a demo demo rocket launch a high altitude uh, okay. rocket launch also took place here so uh, we are really glad that we are able to host such a program and make so many students happy and uh, give them some uh, knowledge and you know, expand their horizon of knowledge oh, rather were all the uh, <coughs> engineering students or no most of them are students from uh, schools high school students and plus two students mm -hmm. who are in a, a decisive moment of their life where they have to choose a career so we also wanted to uh, welcome them to or rather introduce them to the branch of engineering the engineers make the world okay. so nowadays um, youngsters are more interested in so many other areas like medicine, commerce and yeah. medicine and all that and so we wanted to expose the technology and um, draw them to engineering yeah giving them good options yes 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 the rocket launch demo at product was the first in kerala at the same time it was the most risky one as well the launch pad is in front of the exhibition pavilion I request all the visitors of Protec 2K16 to stand at a fair distance for safety reasons. 
Please cooperate with our volunteers to make it a grand success. Thank you for your kind cooperation. There were drones and robotic shows that entertain and amaze the visitors. Product actually. Uh, Protect 2016 is pretty much a debut initiative, exhibition initiative uh, of the Providence College of Engineering on campus. Okay. Our uh, team of fantastic faculty and students have put in much efforts towards bringing this together to showcase uh, student talent along with a lineup of events uh, that provided us with some informative entertainment. We, the management of the Providence College, look forward to hosting many such platforms and aim to create some brilliant engineers in India. Okay. Do you think the, the students are engaging Very properly? much. Very much. They, this is a first for them, but they've done some uh, brilliant project works that are out on display and you should go have a look. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Hope you, so you enjoy the show. The first year students of Providence College showcase their own projects. Let's see what they have to say about project. When the faculty, when teacher came and told you the first time, how do you feel that? I'm Getting an exhibition for the first time in a new college, we okay. were thrilled, that's what. So, and have you been to any other exhibitions before? I've like? been to a couple of them and uh, yeah, they were also good but uh, for us, like being the first years and uh, doing an exhibition like this, I, I think this was fantastic. sustainable organic farming method. Uh, here we are using the excreta of fish which is rich in ammonia content which is very nutritious for plant growth. It's a, a sustainable way of farming method. The pavilion of ITBP was a major draw. Students and teachers were able to see the weaponry used by ITBP like machine guns, rocket launchers and motors. The soldiers explain everything in detail. ये हमारा पहला एक्सपीरियंस है इस कॉलेज के स्टूडेंट्स और यहाँ से स्टाफ हमारे साथ बहुत कोऑपरेट किया जो बाहर से आए हुए बच्चों के साथ जो इंटरेक्शन है वो बहुत अच्छा ही रहा है जो उनका इंटरेस्ट है इस चीज के बारे में हम उनको उसके बारे में बहुत सही तरीके से बताया है जिस तरीके से आगे भी ऐसे मतलब दोबारा ये चांस आ जाएगा तो भी हम दोबारा आने के लिए भी तैयार है और करने के लिए भी तैयार है जिस तरीके से इंटरेस्ट है उसी के ऊपर होता है क्योंकि बच्चे हिंदुस्तान का भविष्य है और उनका जो इंटरेस्ट है उनको हमने क्लियर कर यस डेफिनेटली पहले ये हमारा दूसरा चांस है पहले आडोर में भी एक बार ऐसे एक एग्जीबिशन में भाग लिया है ये हमारा एक्चुअली देखेगा तो ये हमारा सेकंड चांस है 
और छोटे बच्चों के साथ ये पहला इंट्रैक्शन है देखिए ऐसा है कि मतलब वेपन के बारे में बच्चों के अंदर बहुत मतलब इंटरेस्ट रहता है कि मतलब ये क्या है वो क्या है इस, इसके बारे में बोलने के लिए वो जो पूछा है उसके बारे में हमने क्लियर बताया गया है बाकी तो नेशनल सिक्योरिटी की बात है उसके ऊपर हम बात नहीं कर सकते बहुत अच्छा रहा है तीन दिन तो जैसे ही निकला बहुत अच्छी तरह निकला है सो वेलकम ചെങ്ങനുസൈറ്റി <laughs> 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 from luxury cars to off-road vehicles and from the windage cars to Harley Davidson motorcycles Protek had it all Protek was something for everyone. Protek is a great success because it did what it intended to do: attract and amaze the next generation of innovators. So, will we have another Protek next year? Yes, you would like to do something different for the next year. Yes. So, are you sure that there would be such project in next year? Yeah, that is for sure because we still don't know anything, but still at our uh, like. our uh, faculty just pushed up to make up something new and think different so next year we would do and we would tell our juniors to to start doing things fast and make something up and uh, we just want to promote a lot of like everyone technically ahead and that's what we actually aim now okay. my our faculty is impress uh, me to put my projects Next year we want to put uh, my your juniors, our juniors to forward. Oh, you want to show your senior uh, <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what's your the what, what did the, your parents say about it? I mean, are they happy or? Actually, they were very much impressed because just being to the college for three months, I was able to start up. Oh, it's just new. three months, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, mm, uh, fine. Three months, mm. and we started doing a project. So our parents were quite impressed from the class to level to. something kind of innovative it yeah, is yeah, quite strange and infrastructure of the college they were okay. interested uh, and they were like the they were like seriously you could do it and every all of the our colleagues who studied with us since 12th they were like did you do a project come on cannot do it and we were just able to stand out a little bit different from the others we had lots of effort from that wind side for project So, what's your experience and Providence. what's your contribution? I mean, like Providence College of Engineering is presenting project for the first time, and uh, apart from the teaching faculties, mm -hmm. we admin staff also had put a lot of effort and hard work, which I think has paid off very well. All right. For me, this was my first experience and a great experience. We all enjoyed it very well, and we hope to present such events every year. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, sir i know protek is a great success yeah. so how do you plan to take it forward yeah there are around 165 engineering colleges in kerala and at this particular time mm -hmm. the need of the hour is for globally competent okay socially committed innovative engineers and uh, providence college of engineering is has uh, this vision mm -hmm. of nurturing such engineers in this campus and uh, protek is basically <coughs> associating and collaborating with industries so we have already initiated various tie-ups and uh, we'll be working together with the industries and uh, the students will be involving in projects they'll be doing projects and uh, we'll also plan to later on sell it and these uh, you know products which will be useful for industry and uh, you know we want to 
engage our students and involve our students and finally later, you know, uh, to, to, with the aim that they will become innovative engineers. And we have also initiated collaboration with uh, foreign universities that our students will get some exposure to traveling abroad and associating with uh, other professors abroad. Okay. And uh, I'm sure this is a long journey, but uh, we have taken firm right steps and I'm sure that we will go ahead and we'll achieve our goals. Okay, one more question, sir. Yeah. Do you have any plan for uh, doing it as it continues? I mean, the coming years you want to do it? Yes, coming years also we'll be having major technological um, fests and technological exhibitions. At a later point of time, <coughs> we'll be organizing um, uh, other, uh, you know, we'll be associating with other companies and even, um, you know, look forward to associating with uh, um, developers abroad. <coughs> right. And uh, definitely, every year we'll be having a technological exhibition, a technological show okay. at our campus. Okay, that means this is the beginning, right? Yes. So you're going to start <coughs> from here? Yes, so yes. Uh, we'll take it forward. All right. Why yes, nowadays we, we see a lot of engineering colleges and lot and lot of engineering students are coming out. Exactly. But you know when it comes to the uh, global, mar uh, global market, job market, our engineering students, sorry to say, are very poor. Uh, what's the vision of uh, Providence? Well, uh, vision of Providence, that's a good question, to nurture globally competent and uh, innovative engineers. Do you think it's a great success? Of course it is a great success. The closing ceremony was inaugurated by Member of Parliament Sri Kodukunil Suresh. It was a grand finale for a grand event. Product Toki 16 will always be remembered as a source of inspiration for all those who were part of it. How was your experience? What's your experience? Yeah, wonderful opportunity. And actually, if you want to experience this, you should be at Providence. That's it. Okay, let's no way out.